Hello guys, I'm the No Subscribers Guy, and today I'm bringing a little bit of a, a special Minecraft uh, vehicle tutorial. I said, uh, you know, start a little series of building Minecraft vehicles, and today I have decided I'm going to make a a tank. And you guys, if you really want, can make one as well. So uh, first, you need a, a nice block of coal. I'm going to go by one, two, seven. Go by seven. And I have a gap of three and another seven. Then here, like this, on the front, number eight. And then, da -da 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 -da. so what you got to do is then place buttons all along here. Because I've noticed tank tracks have like, well, tanks have like so uh, wheels in between the tank tracks. So the best, most accurate thing to represent that in Minecraft is a button. So then come here to the front, da -da -da, just place three upside down stairs like so, three up stairs like so, and upside down along here, and boom, right to the end, so all upside down gives it kind of that different, less traditional kind of square block look of Minecraft vehicle. And that does look quite nice. And to be honest, them kind of like lines in the uh, the coal block do look a bit like tank tracks. Just a tad. Right here in the front, place that there, just like the little driver's hatch and a rail. Crosswoods. Get it across at that, uh, and then just two blocks in the middle. Let's kind of secure it in. And then you place it on the side here. A trapdoor, even though you won't be able to really exit from it, it just looks nice in the middle there. So then we gotta go and place um, slabs. We need to work out where the sorry, yep. Then you go to the back and place three upside down like this, and Yeah, no, 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 that's wrong, that's right. Go here and then place another one on the back. Like so. So you got that overhang, you kind of overhang at the back there. So then we are going to place the turret. So I'm just going to mark this initially with coal blocks, just to stand it out of it. Goes up like that, so three by two. Then we're gonna come in by one, and then in by one again. So that will be our eventual shape of our whoops turret. <laughs> Fell down a bit there, and then just fill in the gaps around where our turret will go. Obviously, easy as. Okay, then start replacing the coal with two upside down ones here, and whoop we. Pop there like that, and you're gonna have to go pop, pop in there, and then these two with upside down ones, and same on the other side. Pretty simple, pretty easy, pretty nice. The sun is setting, so I am going to, yep, change that today. So then we just need to put one there. And put one there even. So again, we're, we're getting this kind of shape. And doop doop. And we will sort out the back in a minute. Just cover that up because that is another upside down one, I believe. No, I at the back, you know, do 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 do. And you can come up with that kind of shape. Yeah, that looks alright. Doesn't look half bad. Put another layer on top of these stone brick house slabs. You can probably do whatever look you want. I just made it like this for some reason. And I'll get some cobblestone wall and on this one. Come out, you know, as far as you want. You could have like a, a tank with a diddy little tank, and or you could have like a, a monster of a tank. I think that looks nice. You can come out whatever you want. I went out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I went out by eight. But you can go out by what you want, really. So then, 
the bat, get rid of that, and get rid of that, and place it. Do you do? Make sure that's filled in, and place two cobblestone walls there. And as you know, I'll do that. I'll do that detail later. So, you got you got this shape kind of going on now. This tank with this kind of you know kind of angled front. Some tracks that go around like that, and then you got this kind of sloped back, which is sort of radiator thing. So we still got this. We still got this empty turret here, which could be dealt with. The back of the turret, anyway. Yeah. I don't realize we had that hole back there, right? Let's just fill that hole in. In case we're not getting this this turret shape, leave that one empty. So now leave these two empty. So you have a gap of two in between, just fill that in if you want. So you can access the driver's compartment and sit down and look through the little driver's hatch, which isn't a window because of, in, in, if you see, look in history, you look through tanks, they only have like a small slit through the middle of the me, but they also have a hatch. But you can't really get out because of the, of the guns in the way. And around here, nope, yep, there and there. Commander's hatch and the gunner's hatch for this this nice machine. So pop and pop. Whoops, fell off. So now your now your turret your tank looks like this. So it's looking pretty nice. You got this going. Now if you are if you don't have flans mod, that's all you, you do with the turret. For now. We'll go back to the in a bit, but for now we get some grey carpet and just for a bit of extra extra effect. I like to place mine along the sides, like so, like that. Looks very nice. And then on the sides for extra armor, you place four along like this. So it looks like it's got extra armor attached to the side of it, and four along the other side as well. Just to give it a bit more of a uh, armory feel to it, or a different feel. And we got two at the back, like mud flaps or something, I don't know. And then we flatten over the top of them. Um, we'll do that. Yeah, we do that. We'll do that. So you can put either two of them or two of any kind of flat block you want. We could have anything. We could have uh, a normal stone slab. You know, just put some stone slabs on there. Kind of like radiator coolers on the back or something. I don't know. It's really your choice on, on what you do. So you got that going. Isn't that pretty nice? And you can get probably go grab some signs. And then start placing signs on the backs of there and there. And there. And there. So if I see if it has like looks like it has kind of extra armor on the side, but the armor is a lot thicker kind of at the front than at the back. And uh, I put some. Uh, so now we're probably gonna need a. It's pretty good. Pretty good. So now we're gonna need a piece of ladder, and we're probably gonna need to find a way to get onto our tank. Unless you can run off from no, you can't. Alright, we're gonna have to build a bit of the side here or back. Where can that go? I want to get rid of that. Yeah, that's nice. So I got rid of the thing on the end. Your choice, really. You can really add the extra bits on how you want to add them on. But the moment I need a location to put on my ladder, if you want to climb up in a single play. If you don't want to put a ladder on to roll, uh, spoil the look of it, then you know, then don't. I am just gonna go right here, get rid of that, and put on a ladder on the side there, and go there as well, and put a ladder on the side there. So we can now, well, we can now get up to here. So you can actually put a ladder on them because they're not actually, those are two half blocks, not full blocks, unfortunately. So. To get in, you just literally just jump on like that. Pretty simple. Pretty easy and effective, I guess. And then we grab the Q 
cap it again. We're going to need that in a bit as well. And just, you know, replace them if you want them on there. And now on the back. No. Yep. Place up. Okay, now we'll leave it. You can put what you really you can really put what you want on the back, it's your choice. So to go on the inside, I think this is really the whoops, the the best bit. Go in here and we will just you know, make it all look beautiful and I'll put that there and that there and then go up to there. No whoops, that falls down, see that? Now watch this. You can have this sentence, you can be like the uh, the commander or gunner, you can sit inside here. And, or you can go and jump up on here, put that up and look. You've got a foldable seat to sit up here. You know, sit out, or if you want to get inside it, go look, close it down, get down, and close the hatch. So I think that's a really nice little, little extra effect I put in there, like I thought of there. So as you can see, the gun is this level. So we're going to put that in there. As if to say that's the uh, the breach of the weapon. We'll get as a wooden button. So you've got you got the gun's breach here, and the the gunner can fire it. Just that bit of uh, extra extra look inside the uh, the vehicle. Maybe I don't know. I'm just experimenting now. You can experiment yourself. Put what you want on it. But that's the end of our little of our little tank review. That's the end for the, the little tank review for those who don't have flans mod. So if you don't have flans mod, there is no point in continuing on watching. You got yourself. I guess it's a nice little tank, original little Minecrafty, uh, beautiful blocky tank. You jump on the back. So you can be proud of this. If you don't know what flans mod is, real quick, it adds in a load of a bunch of uh, weapons and guns and planes and cars and stuff and it's it's a great mob but uh, I I use it to make the authenticity of or how do I say authenticity of these uh, vehicles seem a lot better so if you get rid of that that looks a bit that looks a bit nicer it looks a bit different but I'm just experimenting as I always say so anyway for those who have flans mods just keep watching Put blocks here and here, and go grab two mach deployable machine guns from a the Manus vehicle content pack. Manus weapons, Manus vehicles. Yep. I like to go for the Browning M2 and the Browning M19, and we'll grab some ammo for them, just because it looks nicer with the ammo. On it. Oh yeah, if you're doing this, uh, you have to remove them, and you can place that there. And that there, obviously the commander having a bigger machine gun and the gunner, wherever you put the the gun fire button the gunner will probably have a, most likely have a smaller machine gun and the commander will most likely have a bigger one so there we go Whoop. right click, ok grab this one sorted Unfortunately, we couldn't do it on this level because that's actually a four block and that's a G on a half block. Oh well, and then just uh, get off of that. Yep, just replace the hatches, and you're done. A tank with now two uh, two machine guns, and maybe just maybe we could add an item frame. I don't know. Flansma doesn't seem to like item frames. Oh, that's fine. You know what that actually is going to be is glass. Hmm, what item could we use? Could use that, yeah. Oh no, we could use yellow stained clay. Really up to your choice, really, or yellow wool. So, could I miss searchlight? Or even uh, item frame? Well, you can't place on the stairs. 
through the stairs and put that there and put it there. Ah, that's the problem. Okay, whoops. So put that back there. You've seen on a like Russian tanks them them what the T nineteen stuff have next to their things. And we'll put some uh, some glass or something. I don't know. I'm just experimenting, making it look nice, and then then sundown again. But to add final, maybe on the side of the turret here. Could add a uh, head. Also, sort of like crew ornament. We have a creeper head on the side. I don't know. Your choice. Your choice. But I, I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you uh, hope you build a, yourself a nice little tank like this. There it is in full. And um, yeah, I've been the no subscribes guy. And thanks for watching.